Today, we're talking about something fundamental to mechanical design and power transfer. Spur gears versus helical gears, especially in the context of transmission systems. If you've ever wondered why some gearboxes are noisy while others run smooth and quiet, or why some machines require extra support bearings, this video is for you. Let's start with the basics. Spur gears are the most common and simplest type of gear. They have straight teeth that are parallel to the gear axis, and they're mounted on parallel shafts. When these gears rotate, their teeth come into contact all at once, resulting in immediate transmission of motion. Because of this direct engagement, spur gears are extremely efficient. They're also easy to manufacture and cost-effective, which is why they're widely used in low-speed machinery, conveyors, basic gear trains, and applications where budget and simplicity are key. However, in transmission systems, especially those operating at higher speeds, spur gears do come with limitations. The sudden engagement of teeth creates shock loading, which leads to vibration and noise. That whining sound you hear in older or simpler machines. It's often due to spur gears. This can also cause wear and tear over time, especially in high speed or high load environments. Now let's switch over to helical gears, a more advanced gear design. Helical gears have angled teeth, typically cut at a 15 to 30 degree helix angle. This means that instead of the entire tooth engaging at once like with spur gears, helical gear teeth engage gradually and overlap, providing smoother and quieter operation. This makes them ideal for transmission systems that require high speed, high load capacity, and minimal noise like automotive gearboxes, industrial drives, and aerospace applications. In terms of performance, helical gears can transmit more torque and handle higher loads than spur gears of the same size, because more than one tooth is in contact at any time. However, this benefit comes with trade-offs. First, helical gears are more expensive to manufacture due to their complex geometry. Second, they generate axial thrust a sideways force that must be counteracted using thrust bearings or additional support components. This adds to the overall design complexity and cost of the transmission system. Also, while they're efficient, the sliding contact between teeth makes them slightly less efficient than spur gears. So, when should you use each type in a transmission system? Choose spur gears when your priority is high efficiency, simplicity, and cost effectiveness especially in low to medium speed applications where noise isn't a major issue. They're perfect for gearboxes and simple machines, mechanical clocks, and manual tools where smoothness is less critical. On the other hand, choose helical gears when your system demands quiet, smooth operation at higher speeds, and you're willing to invest in a more sophisticated design. Helical gears are commonly found in car transmissions, industrial robotics, conveyors, and precision machinery. Thanks for watching. If you found this comparison helpful, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe.